So I've been doing some videos on LCR meters. I showed a bridge and some other things. And you've seen this before. I've got this uh, LCR meter. Now, these aren't cheap either. These are, I think I paid like $180 for this or something like that. This, I, I, I dreamed of having one of these for a very long time and finally saved up enough money to justify buying one. Uh, but uh, I do like this one. Uh, the buttons are a little bit funny on it, but it's a UT612. Uh, but what if you don't have a lot of money, right? I mean, I, I remember having zero money and trying to put together at least some type of instruments and stuff that I could, that I could use. And you could get cheapy little, you know, DVMs and stuff for $25, something like that. And they're fine, right? For garage use, they're just fine. Well, I ran across this thing and I had to buy one. So, so I, I bought this thing and it's an LCR meter. And it cost me $17. $17. So let's take a look at it. Um, it comes with some stuff. Uh, it comes with some instructions. And so that's it's 1% accuracy, 2% accuracy uh, for resistance, capacitance 2.5%, inductance 2.5%, <laughs> plus 25 digits, woo, plus 30 digits, woo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not very good. Plus 20 digits. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not so good. Um, but we'll, fi we'll find out. So here it is. Uh, bag sealed? It is. Bag is sealed. For your protection. All right. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, oops, there we go. A little bit further. Um, I don't like this camera angle. Just a second. All right, I like that better. Looking a bit more straight down on it. So it's got um, capacitance, then inductance, and then resistance. So you have to you have to choose what range you're on. That's fine. It's got a stupid transistor tester. I don't know why they put those in there. Um, L's and C's and ohms are over here. So you need to change the leads. Now these leads are going to be useless for this type of thing. So let me. Let me get some other leads here. Are these on the right centers? Oh, good, they're on the right centers. Okay, so let's do L's and C's. They're over here. And uh, it's got batteries in it? No, it doesn't have batteries in it. Of course not. Uh, not for $17, right? Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's much else to be talking about it. It's just a thing. Let's uh, get it open here. Shoot, flew it on my hand. Feels like a self-tapping screw into plastic. And there we go, nine volt battery. I just had one laying around here, where is it? There it is, sick. All right. I don't think this is the strongest nine volt battery it's been and some other things, but I think it'll be all right. Let's see if we can't pop it in there somehow. There we go. All right, power. Well, power's up. All right. Let's put on a, let's see, what should we test? Should we test a ohms first or inductor, and it's capacitors first. I think we'll test capacitors first. I got them in my hand here. Uh, showed these before, my big fancy capacitors. Let's try this one here. Put our leads on it. And microfarads, 0.39 microfarads, uh, 39.5 nanofarads, and it is supposed to be 38.5 nanofarads. So not too bad. 200, is that the, the hertz that we're? 200 hertz? I don't know. I don't know what that 200 means. Hmm. Interesting. 
it there all the time? It is there all, oh, kind of there all the time. I don't know. I don't know why that 200's there. <laughs> so, 39.4 and uh, let's see, 39.4 and it is actually 38.47 uh, 2.4% off? Okay. Sounds like it's about, about in spec. Uh, let's test this big guy here. He's 1,000 nanofarads, I think. 100 nanofarads. I think it's 100 nanofarads, yeah. 102, so 2.5% two, two off. Okay, I'll take that. And uh, let's measure some of these little guys here. have any uh, accurate inductors. Haven't found any of those. So this is supposed to be 325 picoverts. So let's hook him up. 325 picos. Picos are this way. 325. 3. 330. Okay. Let's say it's kind of bouncing around. Let's say 337. 337, and it is supposed to be 325. So 3.7% out. So, but, um, sorry. The data sheet is pretty loosey goosey. <laughs> it says 2.5% of reading plus 30 digits. So, yeah, 30 digits is already 10%, so, ouch. Uh, but, what it's doing, uh, so I think, you know, I think for $17, it's not so bad, right? So, point, point six one five. And these are 0 0.598. So 614, oops, 614, and it is 598. 2.7% off. Yeah, I could, I could live with that. So, you know, for $17, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. Now, we measured this little guy before one of the other ones. I think it was 332. I think it was 332. Henry's. So we can go here to millihenries, microhenry, 20 millihenries. Yeah, so it doesn't go very low. So instead of 332, it's four. Yeah, it's pretty far off on the low, low Henry things. It goes up to 20 Henry's. <laughs> but it, but it only, full scale is 20 millihenries. So it doesn't do microhenries very well. So it's not good at that. Okay, maybe that, maybe maybe that's not great if you need to measure inductors. Okay, let's uh, let me let me get rid of my capacitors and stuff, and I'll get out my uh, my fancy resistors, and we'll test the uh, we'll test the resistance, see how it is. All right, uh, so this says two K. Let's dial in uh, let's dial in two K and see how it does. Uh, let's see this. I think this is 2k here. Let's put this on zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. zero. Is this is 1k. Yeah, so 1k. That's not bad. That's measuring 1k pretty good. Here's 2k. Very nice. So it's rolling off the top. Yeah, okay. I could buy that, 1K. Okay, let's go up here to, let's go up to 10K. Oh, that's not, oh, here we go. I haven't set on that one. Perfect, 998, not bad. Okay, let's go up one. It's 100K. Fine. And then this goes up to one meg. So we'll do that. 
Very nice. All right, let's go on the low end here. Let's go down to the 200 ohms. Uh, let's see here, 200 ohms. This is 100 ohms. Very nice. And 20 ohms, 20 ohms. Very nice. I think that point, point one there is the, the cable. The, uh, if I shirt this out over, uh, I don't have a good shorting thing with me. Let's see here. Let's see if I can't short it with this. Here's a shorting block. Yeah, see, 0.13 ohms is uh, it's just the cable itself. So, yeah, so great, 10 ohms. So the resistance is really, really good. Capacitance, you know, eh, on the higher stuff, yeah, it was like, what, 2.73%, something like that. Inductors, meh, I don't have any, any high inductors to really, really measure. But uh, capacitance is okay. So should I buy one of these? Or should I just use my multimeter, which also has these functions in it, right? Uh, we could try one of those out. Here's, here's a multimeter with some capacitance functions and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that another time. Anyway, I'd say if all you want to measure is resistance and capacitance, then probably just stick with the ohm meter you got. It probably has a capacitance range on it. It's probably pretty similar to this thing. If you want inductance as well, if you want actual LCR, you can get one of these for, for uh, what, I pay $17. 17 bucks. And it's backlit. Look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty nice backlight. Not too bad. 17 bucks. Shoot. Hold peak. H. This is an HP 4070L. Anyway, so there's a good range of LCR meters from cheap, cheap, cheap to super expensive. I wish I'd had, I have one, ugh, can't talk. I wish I had one of the really fancy HP LCR meters. They're full rack width. They're really, really fam, uh, really, really fancy. They're also built in uh, in Japan. They were they were designed by the Yokogama team, Yokogawa, HP Yokogawa, and uh, yeah, they're supposed to be like the holy grail. I don't know these days. It's hard to tell these days. Things are so easy now. Um, but back in the day, that was the LCR meter to have, and they're still uber expensive. I haven't haven't seen a cheap one yet on uh, on eBay.